Hi there, and welcome to Uncle Mel's Crypto News. Today we're going to talk about Japan's crypto exchanges. In this week's headlines, the Japan Crypto Trading Association unveiled crypto market rates from Japan. The Japanese exchange, Tao Tao, has revealed positive numbers for the first year. CoinCheck has also announced positive fiscal year totals recently. And Cointelegraph has also been delving into several exchanges in Japan. Hi, I'm Uncle Mel. If you've never been to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification to receive all of my new videos. Also, if you could click the like button to help me out with a new YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it. The Tao Tao Exchange sees soaring volume. The crypto exchange Tao Tao, that is backed by Yahoo Japan, saw its customer figures rise during Q1 of 2020. With a rising total over 7,000 users near the end of March 2020, the data shows the exchange has seen huge growth since its beginning in May of 2019. Tao Tao has posted almost $510 million in exchange volume during the first year of operation. There is a self-regulatory group in Japan known as the Japan Crypto Trading Association or the JVCEA which now publicly shares the current market rates for several of the top digital assets traded on various exchanges in Japan. This group displays an averaged price for each of the digital assets. They pull volume and price data from the different trading platforms two times a day. The JVCEA shares current market rates for most of the larger traded digital assets including Bitcoin, BTC, Ethereum, ETH, Litecoin, LTC, Ripples, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, BCH, and many, many more. Now let's talk CoinCheck. CoinCheck, which is an offspring of a Tokyo-based financial services company called Monix Group, had shown an overall loss in its previous year's earnings. But this year, they have revealed a profit of over $2.5 million in U.S. dollars this year. With an over an 80% growth in final income over the previous year. CoinCheck has also seen its U.S. branch grow, also reaching a customer account over $3,500 plus, which is a 500% increase over Q4 of 2019. In the past few years, the Japanese exchanges have faced a few complications, including a blanket statement from the FSA. The FSA is the country's financial services agency, which declares licensing requirements. Cointelegraph of Japan took a look into the situation around Japan regarding these three exchanges, Binance, BitMEX, and Bybit. Please don't forget, if you like this video, smash that like button and share as it helps to support the channel. It also helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Mahalo.